Genasa. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports in association with the PGA Tour proudly presents the season long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live final round coverage of the players. Welcome once again to TPC Sawgrass for the players. This is Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo, set to bring you all the action. And Frank, the 17th hole is always the place to be during this great championship. It certainly is, Rich. Uh, the energy, as we know, each and every year has just been electric at 17. And I don't expect it to be any different today. We're off and running here, and let's take you down to the action at hole number one. Well, partner, you've been there. Final round, first tee, and you're leading. What's the mindset? Well, Rich, you've got to try and keep away from what a lot of people do, which is one eye looking forward and one eye looking at the rear vision mirror. Right now, it's about getting off to a good, solid start. Put some space between you and the pack. That's in the fairway. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Oh, solid strike right in the heart of the green. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Start. How about this second, a par five? Well, if you're brave, you try and flash it down that tree line down the left, but there's a couple of limbs that poke out. That every now and again, they catch an errant tee shot. He makes a great pass at the golf ball. It's powerful, but it's rhythmic at the same time. Good tee shot right in the fairway and plenty long. Second from an excellent lie. Crucial eagle attempt on the way. Good chunk of real estate here, 22 feet away. Very well done, almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. See if he can get something going here. Two straight birdies. Has it for another birdie. Two holes, two birdies. Now the par three third. Not overly long, but two is a rarity here. Difficult green, and uh, you don't see a lot of tee shots actually finish close here for some unknown reason.
Well, that is a ball striking clinic right there. Another dazzling approach shot. Pretty close. Frank, this would be a nice way to jumpstart the round. Yeah, his momentum uh, can quickly go in the right direction if he makes this. Nice, solid start to the round. Tita Green looks to be in command. Yeah, it's surprising. I thought he might have been a little shaky out of the gate, but uh, certainly proved me wrong. Back over now to the fourth. Frank, the Maserati's tuned up early, running 120 on the uh, first few holes here. Yeah, you've got all 12 cylinders going. Just a player in full flight. It's amazing how that club's tearing through the, I don't know, 100, 120 miles an hour. Ball just sailing down the fairway. Managing to hold those greens, and of course the greens today are putting so beautifully. So we have a chance to just sort of light it up there today. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. It should be pretty good right there. On the safe side. So a chance for birdie after another solid approach shot. This hole's been good to him. Birdie yesterday, trying for another one today. Well, there's an opportunity wasted. Just knocking him for a par and let's forget about this one. Um, golf is not about perfect. But it's gonna hurt the course. Good roll, solid, that's a par. Frank, how about this par four fifth? I lost count the number of bunkers here, off the tee and sort of in play with the second shot if you're in trouble, or even the one that's sort of left and long. Really good par four though. Fairway somehow has to be uh, achieved if you want to reduce this par four to just a simple two shot. That was just a beautiful drive and hit it solid and right in the middle. Frank getting set now for the second shot here at the fifth. What's the best way to go at it? Rich, it's one of the toughest par fours on the green. Birdie on the card here yesterday, don't forget. Locked in on the read and the speed. Good putt. Hole number six, 393 yard, par four. What's in store for us here, Frank? Another one really where you're just trying to poke it down there. When you stand on that back tee, there's an overhanging limb that you just get an eye of. So if you try and hit that ball a little too low, that's gonna encourage a miss hit. Frank, our featured player, a bit wobbly of late. This is an important approach shot. It is. Time to just hit the brakes, do a little reset. Things aren't completely lost yet. Start to get back to that positive frame of mind. Beautiful shot. That is tight. Unbelievable. That is one to save it for the rest of the round will make birdie if he holds this putt. Wow, that was so close, Frank. Just time to forget that one. I mean, he couldn't hit that much better. Just a couple of feet. He's made it. Frank, this isn't a hole that sort of jumps out at you the way, say, 17 does. Yeah, a lot of times people will just sort of gloss over it, but anytime you get a par four into 400 yards, it's a great opportunity. But once again, 
a positional hole. Take advantage of it. Oh, it's fine. This is how the game is supposed to be played. This has been just outstanding. Beautiful to watch. Nicely played shot, about 310 yards down the fairway. Now the approach to the seventh. Frank, what do you need to be mindful of here? It's rather narrow in the front of this green, and then there's some mounds both right and left. Be very aware of those mounds. They can actually help you out. This won't hurt him, Frank. Uh, just a little left of the flag. That's fine. We just saw a player in total control of what he's doing. Didn't miss a green in regulation all day long. Birdie here yesterday, trying to do it again today. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. TPC Sawgrass, the fabled stadium course designed by the legendary Pete Dye. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo. And here at the eighth, Frank, most players are happy walking out of here with a par three. And the reason why, it's a very narrow entry to this green. It's just littered with bunkers around, left, behind, to the side, and even short. Uh, once you get further up the green, though, even though this is sort of an undulating green, it starts to widen up. So don't get trapped into just looking at the front of this hole. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. On the green, I'm looking at a birdie opportunity. Boy, this could be a tough one right here, Frank. It's a very long putt, Rich. Obviously, it's difficult, uh, but he still has a shot to sink this one for birdie. That may have been a bit too much to ask for there, that distance putt, Frank. Yeah, it's fine to be greedy before you hit the putt, but after you've hit it, two from that distance is fine. Never a bad score on the card, that's par. Frank, the ninth is really a good par five, isn't it? There's so many options here. Um, just play it away, sort of three wood it down there, then go to the right and sort of wedge it on the green, but uh, it's very tempting, especially in the right wind conditions, and that's if they're coming over your shoulder for a right-hander from right to left. Then this par five is very reachable. Great Bobby Jones used to say the hardest shot in golf's the next one. Talking about that right, it's not going to be too hard. Looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five, the second shot. Frank, when you think layup shot on a par five, you think it's easy. This isn't necessarily that simple, is it? No, you've got to keep the ball to the right. Otherwise, those overhanging, overhanging limbs on those trees on the left, they become havoc. Here's to be what they call a commercial play. Very solid. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. And getting ready for the putt. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. Let's get the back nine started here at the stadium course at TPC Sawgrass. And Break down the tenth for us, Frank. Well, it's similar to the opening hole. Uh, the first and tenth give you the same feeling where you feel awkward off the tee shot. The difference to the first hole, you've got to poke your tee shot towards the right side of the fairway here, turning it into a dog leg. And similar thing now, you're going back across the fairway to the green. Looks to be a good setup going into the green here at the tenth. Second shot now at the tenth, but again, Frank, 
accuracy is at a premium. Yeah, gone are the days uh, to sort of thrash it out of the trees like Phil Mickelson. Ideally, coming out of that fairway, you're hitting to a green that moves to the right. So that makes it uh, a little bit more difficult than what uh, the mind's eye foresees. Oh, I can't hide the flag stick from that man. This for another birdie on this hole on the week. Continues to amaze yet another birdie, and what a day it's been. Now the time to be aggressive. Par five, 558 yard, 11th hole, Frank. What's the key here? Tee it high and let it fly. This is the big chance here. This is one of the widest fairways on the golf course. This is where you chance it all. Good contact, good result. Frank, TPC Sawgrass has been such a great stage for so many great players through the years. I'm thinking about Norman, Couples, Love, Tiger, Phil, Sergio. They've all won here. Well, when Norman shot that incredible score, that really made them change the golf course. It became a little bit more difficult after that, but seeing Fuzzy Zella wave the right white towel after what was probably one of the best driving exhibitions I've ever seen in my lifetime was, uh, was something. And of course, my fellow countryman Craig Perks using just one putt over those last three holes was memorable. That was just a gutsy shot right there and a good look at Eagle coming up. It's at sneaky distance. So the eagle goes begging. He still has this for birdie. So a tester from four feet. Oh yeah, he's made it for a birdie. Frank, what's so much fun about TPC Sawgrass is the excitement that it generates for a fan and how many different holes there are. 12 is a good example. Yeah, 12 looks like it's fresh from Scotland. You can see why Pete Dye spent a lot of time over there. Um, tee shot looks straight away, but the second shot is blind. The, the shot you'd get in Scotland with a wedge where you just see the top of the flagstick and you've got to really guesstimate on the yardage that you have. But a good wedge shot and someone that can judge their distance, this is certainly a birdie hole. Should be pretty good right there on the safe side. Really in control of this hole. Birdie yesterday and another opportunity on the way. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Solid stroke there, no sign of nerves on that. One of the great things about this golf course, Frank, a variety of par threes, different yardages. Here at the 13th, 181 yard par three. Yeah, this is uh, where you have to be careful on the tee there. Anything left is just gonna be eaten up by that lake. Matter of fact, if you hit one with a little bit of a hook and it catches the mound, it can still kick into the lake. So this one here, just be a little cautious on the tee. Terrific golf shot. And now, that for an easy birdie. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. Simple, solid, and he'll take it. But one that you need to make. And through the years, Frank, it has gotten the best of the best, hasn't it? We've seen Tiger Woods hit it left. We've seen Vijay Singh hit it left. We've seen so many players in the water down the left. Conversely, many a championship's been lost by hitting the ball up in the mounds on the right. You take four here and run the 15? Uh, I would sprint. I tell you, there's long and long. And, and that, with a little bit of breeze behind, it's long. 
He rode the win there to payday. He's going to have a good look coming up. That is classy. A lot of chunks are going in. Now he has this for the birdie. That finds the bottom of the cup. We'll call that a birdie. If you're just joining us, we're at the 15th hole here at TPC Sawgrass, 449 yard par four. Frank, what's in store here? One of the prettiest tee shots on the golf course, Rich. Once again, you're coming out of a shoot of trees, big bunker down the right side. Really, you want to hug that right side, though. It gives you a better entry into this green. Oh, that's it. New member of the 300 yard club. Good poke right there. Getting set now for the approach at the 15th. Yeah, good looking second shot here, but you've got to be precise. Uh, hardly a flat spot on the screen. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. No problems there. Really good approach shot. And now, good look at birdie. Settles in over the putt. Hard putt, soft hands, beautiful putt. You licking your chops here, Frank, as a player when you get to this tee box? Well, it's an opportunity. A four here certainly <laughs> makes the mood better when you walk to 17 and then 18. So a four here is more than just making a birdie on a par five. I mean, he just blasted it down the fairway, well over 325 yards. Frank, he could make eagle right here with a really good approach shot. Yeah, well, well within his reach, too. And Rich, if we just uh, sit back and relax here, I think we're going to see perhaps a very good look at Eagle coming up. What a nice shot. Right on the green and a pretty easy putt on the way. So this is the third shot to the par five. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. And if you're a couple of shots behind on Sunday, that final round, you're thinking about three, and that's possible, isn't it? Well, history's shown it it has, Rich. This is heading in the wrong direction. Uh-oh. Wow, lucky break right there, Frank. Wow. That's what everyone else is going to say, except him. Second shot. Now that is a shot that would be replayed over and over. Don't think, just hit. Now to the final hole here at TPC Sawgrass, 462-yard par four. Frank, is this one of the toughest finishing holes in the sport? It is, because the simple reason you've played 17 holes and the job isn't done yet. Well, this looks good. It certainly is. Frank, you've played in conditions all over the world. Here come the winds now. What's the mindset? Well, this is really what separates the men from the boys. This is where you've got to tell yourself, and it's an advantage to you. Um, obviously, the scores will go up a little bit, um, given the conditions. But once again, this is going to suit the stronger player today. You like the old phrase, swing easy when it's breezy? Definitely when you're hitting it into a head breeze. But um, a down breeze, tee it up a little bit, try and ride that wind some more. 
So the second of the par four goes begging, and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. Let's see if he does it here. The whole thing just hit. And it is in. Amazing. Nice. Amazing. And that wraps up the final round. Just a great performance by our champion today. Couldn't agree more, Rich. Uh, I think this one will have to go down in the books as an absolute classic. Fantastic play, not only in the course today, but all week long. CPT Naruto over and out. Shout out to Tori, shout out to Tori Kelly's album coming out last week. Um August 9, 2019. Today's August 12, 2019. It came out three, three days ago and it's amazing. I love it. I bought it. Um, we love you, Tori Kelly. We support you as Tori Kelly fans and we're gonna keep it going. Um, with that being said, CPT Naruto. Over and out. <laughs>